friends welcome back to hi-fi tech and entertainment channel with advanced capm series so in earlier videos already you guys learn how to define the domain modeling and service implementation and how to test it and deployment now in today's video i will take you through the how to use the type in cds so in this video i am going to cover what is a type in cds why and when to use it and what is the enum structured and primitive type of examples and we will see that in our bas system directly so first what is a type actually this type is a reusable field or a structured definition think it's in shortcut to avoid the duplicate or if you want to improve your code clearly we will use this type we have three types of things we need to use it in our while defining of our entities the first one is primitive alias the second one is structured type the third one is enum type so while creating the project i will explain you when we have to use what first you guys know how to create the project just create a project with c see the name i will define types db so types of types in data modeling once we create the project defaultly if we expand the project we have that actually how we will define the data modeling first we will create a schema file dot series once you create a file here we are going to use the types first the main thing namespace same so i will use it here then first how to define an entity as you guys know define books for entity name we will start with caps then these are the key fields just define some of the key fields here if you want to maintain a len you can do that also like this size means integer yeah now boolean yes so this is the how we will create an entity right so if you see here the string and gener these fields for example how to use this enum data types here means for example this one you want to maintain some restriction for example it uh, you want to validate it the value either 1 or 2 i mean it will you want to maintain it as an only integer value to validate it so in this scenario what i will do is i will create a custom data type so i'm maintaining the data type is this is the data type i maintain here so once i maintain the data type we need to declare that data type right so we have already three types of data type now if you want to maintain an enum data type the main advantage of this enum data type is it will allows you the integers only and it will maintain a proper structure and it will ensures only the values either the integer values is valid or not that's how this enum data type will so if you want to maintain a set of integer const constants we can use this enum 
data type so this will be a user defined data type already if you have knowledge on c and basic html things we will use this enum data type so same thing we are going to use it here the main benefit of this is it will replace the numbers with and readable names to understand things easily how to define it means just what we have to define it here is just we need to write this is the data type right type the what are the name we declared it here in the top that one we need to declare it here so it will support you integer integer enum here we need to maintain your fields if you if the data is fiction just it has to support this or non-fiction case like this for example in this enum you can if you want to maintain a week weekend sorry week so in, in this week what i will maintain is sunday is one monday two tuesday three so if user will selection that it will get it from the integer number like user selected this keyword that's how this fiction will work it here so if you want to maintain iphone it won't work we need to maintain underscore like this that's how this enum data type will allow it only restricts the value all whatever the options will it only it will restricts this integers and why we are going to use it is instead of uh, maintaining the complete string it will be very readable and we can reuse this wherever you want for example same week if you are going to use it in another weekend just what we have to do is just use this custom data type in that entity that's how it will be next when coming to the price in the price we have both amount and currency will be there right and in that scenario if you want to maintain this as in some length that case what i will do is for this also i will create a data type custom data type price this i will use it here type price yeah once i maintain this here i will use that fields here decimal currency that length so it will allow you the decimal uh, it will allow you the decimal amount till the currency length it will restrict to somehow it is if this one we will call it as an structured data type so in this structured type if you use this what the main advantage of this structured data type is it will allows you nesting of the amount and the currency together under the price itself so in if you want to concatenate things and if you want to maintain two things at the same property we can go for the price data type the next one is primitive alias data type this is nothing but if you want to reuse anything in the multiple times in that scenarios we can go for this now this primitive data type we will use it here like stock case so in this stock case i want to maintain this and wherever i want the number of bits that's the case i will use reuse this type equal that's it here if you maintain integer wherever you want to reuse this we can reuse this the main advantage of this will we can reuse across the complete all entities and also it will easy to update the constraints globally for the later purpose that's how we need to maintain this now you guys understood right what are the types of data types one is structured and another one is primitive and another one is enum structure enum data types by using these three data custom data types we can maintain the code reusability and wherever if you want to maintain the nested fields that one also we can reuse and if you want to maintain this enum for the like this scenarios now what i will do is once we created this right just we will test it how it will works for you in the real time so how to test it 
in a survey file will create a folder dot cds once you click on that here we need to use this using this is the name as bookstore you guys know how to define the entity as usual here we need to give this entity name here bookstore dot space if you give it will show you that books that's it here the proper naming step path you need to maintain the schema file we need to load it here that's it now first jump into that application types tp now npm install now cds watch you click on enter the new put will open new tab the books entity is generated now how to maintain this test data for this is as usual cds add data before writing command just check the path of the application where you are exactly don't miss this maximum i will miss these things guys cds add data if you maintain this cds add data if you see that the structure will maintain based on your things see price amount price currency so here you will maintain the amount where you will maintain whether it's in dollars and whatever things it is that's how the data will fetch it here so the basic validation if you want to maintain it in data modeling itself just reuse this data types you guys know if you use this data types the main advantage is how it will be either you can reuse this and it will be easy to readable and we can maintain this if you want to test this let's test that one also together new file test dot http now maintain it here right as usual http little bit lazy to write code sometimes so just i copy and paste it slash for data slash v4 slash my slash entity name books Here we need to maintain the method as usual. We consent. If your posting method means we need to pass the data, right? So content type application slash JSON. Perfect. That's it. Now we will pass the data here it will validate title something learning capam one Could that feel name country in stock one twenty 
oh it's an integer guys yes then price within the price how to pass means it's in two fields means right we maintain nested so amount that's how we need to pass comma currency that's it then It's a boolean. So we need to add it true or false. That's it. Now, if you maintain the post, it will succeed. So that's how we need to test the application. In next video, I will explain you through the process of how to use the custom handling events and also how to deploy application in our SQLite. So if you like the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching guys.